Now is when I hate on two ball dribbling drills. Um, the way they're generally done, I think, is a waste of time. Worse than a waste of time, they drill on things that you later have to undrill. So I'm going to talk about that if you've ever done two ball dribbling drills or do them currently or have been thinking about doing them. I've spent plenty of time doing them and here are my thoughts. Um, so basically the way that you usually <coughs> see people doing two ball dribbling drills is stationary, feet in the same place, and then you're dribbling and it's so difficult that you have to look down. And then if you get a certain amount of advance, then you can walk. Or, or run while doing them, but I just think that it's generally a waste of time and it all has to do with the purpose of dribbling. What's the purpose of dribbling? What do you think? I think generally the purpose of dribbling is to get to a certain floor spot um, and yeah, usually to meet a pick or to get to a certain place to make a pass or to attack towards the basket or to attack towards the baseline, right? Makes sense? Um, sometimes you have options based solely on what the defense gives you, but that's generally what it is. Dribbling is get to a certain place, and the key to getting a certain place is, um, while you're defended, is footwork. It's nothing but footwork. You need to get a place on your feet. You need to meet the pick on your feet. You need to get to the wing on your feet. You need to get the basket on your feet. And any dribbling drill that does not emphasize footwork is just a waste of time because the dribbling the ball is fucking easy. It's really easy. What's difficult is um, how you use your off hand, how you use your off leg, how's your, how you use your footwork positionally, strategically against the, against the defense to get to a certain four spot. Does that make sense? So I think any drill where, where you're just stationary is kind is, I just think it's dumb. It's just a waste of time. And to make matters worse, the difficulty in doing it is such that you just get to looking down when you're doing it, right? <clears throat> That's a problem. Because um, you could say, all right, well, when you have one ball, you can just undrill that and look up. But that's not how the body works. You develop muscle memory very quickly. So any drill you're doing while you're looking down is really bad, and you shouldn't do it. I don't think. I don't do it. I don't recommend anyone do it. Um, so I think if you're going to do two ball dribbling drills, First thing to do is do it in a mirror if you can, or do it with looking at your shadow. Anything you can do to keep your head up, because it's easy to say, yo, just keep your head up. It's so hard you have to look down, unless you're looking in a mirror, and that way you can do it without drilling in the muscle memory of looking down. And then you're, that way you're at least doing something that's treading water, something that's not bad for you that you have to undo later. But, how do we emphasize footwork in it? Well, it's difficult, because if we have two balls, where's the defense? Um, how are we playing our feet strategically? It's all out the window. It just makes no sense. I don't think it's worth doing. However, there's times to do it. I'd say the best two ball dribbling drill, you're only dribbling one ball. The other ball is on the ground and you're ro rolling it. Why is this good? Why is this different? Because it takes into account that um, you're dribbling with one hand and your other hand is used for off-arm protection. This, when, when you're rolling a ball and you're dribbling with one hand and rolling the other ball, then you're teaching yourself to use your offhand while you're dribbling for protection. And then footwork and body positioning and foot positioning is relevant. Because, yeah, it just is. It makes sense, right? I just, I don't know. I just see so many guys doing it. And I've done it too. I think it's dumb. And that's why. It's just anything, yeah, anything stationary or having your head looking down is worse than doing nothing. So I say for the most part, stay away from it. Um, you see what most of what the pros do, most of the pros don't do two ball stuff. Sometimes you'll see it, but most of them are just doing one ball stuff. One ball stuff where you're using footwork and or your offhand. So anything dribbling I do that you see, key main point is footwork because we're using our feet to get to a spot. How the hell I dribble the ball is totally irrelevant because the better I get, the defense does not care how I'm dribbling. They're not playing the ball, they're playing my body. I'm not gonna trick them by dribbling fancy or whatever because I'm trying to get to a spot on the floor, right? Playing against reaching, playing against reaching batty noob defenders. What's good, bro? Playing against reaching batty noob defenders, then maybe, but good defenders, you just need to use footwork, body, posi body positioning to get to the right four spot, so. 
that's what I'd say. Um, yeah, footwork and keeping your head up and off arm stuff. But most of the two bowl stuff, I say stay away from it, honestly. I don't think it's good, I think it's bad. So, those are my thoughts.